was raised in a very athletic family. My dad, when he was growing up through high school and college, he was a he was a very good distance runner. He was very talented and he still holds records at the high school and at his college, Western Oregon University Hall of Fame. He was nationally ranked. He could have gone professional if that had been his call, but instead he was called to ministries, college campus ministries up in Pullman. But I was raised at cross country meets and at track meets where that weird family that would watch the marathon and the Olympics and find it really fascinating just for fun. And so growing up all the time, my youngest brother, he he would get all the attention. He was five years younger than me, and for some reason it felt like everybody loved him so much for who he was. He was so smart, he was so interesting, he was so thoughtful, where uh, me and my other brother, who are older, we it was just about what we could do, um, and people didn't seem to value us for who we were, just kind of what we did, and we didn't get much attention. When our youngest brother, was, he became very sick. He was diagnosed with anorexia. He nearly died, and it just, it all got worse because every, all I was suddenly was Casey's older sister. How does it feel to have a brother like Casey? How does it, how does it feel to be going through this right now? And I just remember feeling very alone and like nobody really cared about what, who I was or what I was doing or what I cared about. So when I started running, everything changed because I was, I was very good. I had inherited my father's gift and people were telling me I had this beautiful natural form and I was very gifted. And all of a sudden it was, oh, Wes's girl is running again. Oh, it's another Tilner who's, who's taken on this distance running. Going into high school, training my, yeah, training my freshman year, I was like training my first week out with the top of the varsity runners and I was projected to have state winning times by the end of sophomore year. It was, it was a big deal. And all of a sudden people like my grandparents and my parents even seemed to actually care and they were actually taking an interest in who I was and what I was doing. It was wonderful because suddenly people cared about me. And it wasn't until probably the fall of my freshman year we were doing a hill workout and I felt great. It was probably the best workout of my life. I felt amazing. After that, my calves hurt and I've never run pain-free since. Apparently there was it's a genetic disorder called compartment syndrome that made it impossible for my muscles to really to really function and the circulation didn't work quite right. Um, and it was incurable without this really big surgery. Um, but I didn't know that until a long time later and so I was struggling the entire rest of my freshman year so hard. I was trying so hard and just toughing out the pain and treating it as best I could, but I. I was so hesitant to let go of that. It was so hard because that felt like that was all I had and that's kind of what validated me and that's that's what people cared about. It was so hard for me watching my times go down. I couldn't run varsity anymore because I wasn't reliable. Sometimes my calves would work and sometimes they wouldn't work. And it was so, so hard. It wasn't until after the physical therapist just told me, look, look you can't compete anymore. The summer between my freshman, freshman and my sophomore year that I realized, oh crap, who am I? What am I without this? Because I suddenly don't have this anymore. It's a musical, and I learned to tap dance. Apparently tap dancing didn't make my calves hurt, and I discovered that I could use the gifts that God still gave me, the athleticism and the ability. It served me very well in dance. So I was able to explore that and um, work hard at theater and kind of find, find myself in, and find my own identity that hadn't been handed to me by my family and by how it felt like people were valuing me. As much as it hurt at that point then while I was trying so hard to run, I'm very grateful that God took that away from me because I was able to find myself and I would never have ended up at Corbin if I hadn't, if I hadn't had to stop running I would have ended up at some fancy college that had given me a lot of money to run there. And I'm so happy with the place I am now and I'm so happy that I've discovered theater and dance and that outlet. I feel like I've gotten in better touch with myself and who God has really made me to be.